Loco, this is really bad. I'm sorry, but they decided to scrap him. What? No! Curse British Rail and their oppressive agenda! I will not stand for it! Our brother, D5703, he was a charming and hard-working engine. But why us? Why did it have to be us? In a perfect world, people would help us rather than just cast us aside. But who knows? Someone who looks beyond our engine problems may come along and we'll see what really matters. Our determination. But I tell you, the writing is on the wall for us. Wait! Oh my god! Vulcan? It's you! Oh, I can't tell you how glad I am to see you! Huh. I can't say the same for myself. What? Oh, don't be silly, Balco. You know what? Your class is just pathetic. I thought you guys were going to be the pride of the line, but you disappointed us. But that wasn't my fault! And it wasn't my brother's either when he was scrapped! Well, what can I say? That's what happens to faulty engines, and he unfortunately happened to be a faulty engine. How dare you! I don't understand. I thought we were friends, Vulcan. We used to be, but then you Metrovix proved to be a laughingstock, and I most understandably do not want anything to do with failed engines. Good day. Why, you rotten backstabbing, betraying son of a- Ignore him, Boko. Don't waste your time arguing with him. You don't understand, Vicar. He was my friend! A friend would have you back regardless of how broken you were. He only wanted to be associated with pure engines. As soon as he saw your problems, he cast you aside. That's no friend. But I haven't got any friends left! Maybe not friends, but you have us. It's no use anymore. I'm going to fail regardless. Rubbish. I'll tell you that your brother would not want you to think like that. He'd want you to push on. All right. We've got a special goods train that needs to be taken to Brendam on the island of Sodor. <laughs> What's so bad about Sodor? It's an island full of steam engines, and they're not going anywhere soon. All right, all right. Now, do I have any volunteers? Um, I guess I'll do it, sir. Splendid. Another one? Good grief! What's the Fat Controller thinking? What lovely engines! My word! This is an awful hill! I wonder how many engines get stuck here! Uh-oh! Brakes, driver! Hello. Sorry about this. Edward here broke down. We'll be late! We've got to catch our ferry! We'll arrange for a backup engine, but this railway's so busy that it might take a while. He's right. So many engines are getting repairs. Well then, why doesn't the diesel do it then? We have to take this freight train to the docks. In a perfect world, people would help us rather than just cast us aside. Where are you headed? Brendam Dock Station. Some of the passengers need to get on a ferry. Hey driver, I think we could push them and pull the freight train. We're going to the docks as well. Are you sure? That seems like quite a lot of work. I think I can do it. We'll get the goods delivered, plus spare the passengers a long wait or a missed boat. That would be marvellous. Alright then, let's go for it. I must say I'm a little surprised. No diesel has ever helped me before. Well then, this will be your lucky day!
My god! I didn't think this would be so heavy! Interesting. That's a mainland diesel. I've called for Donald to come and take you to the works. Who is that diesel that helped you? I don't know, sir, but he's definitely not like other diesels I've met. Hello, what's your name? Well, they call me Boko. Thank you, Boko, for getting the passengers to the station. You're a very useful diesel. Thank you, sir. I must admit, I don't hear people call me that too often. Phew! That was hard work! I hope I can make it home! You've done really well. You've earned a jolly good rest. Oh dear! Not this hill again! Give it your best effort, buddy! Come on! Grrr! No! I can't do it! No! I can't fail! Oh, blast! This is it. I'm done for. Oh, rubbish. You're not spewing fire like D5703 was. This is probably an easy fix. It may be, but it depends if the manager wants me to be fixed. Well, well, well. Another diesel broken down. And this one doesn't even live on the island. Ha! Huh? That's what you get for being such devils. Oi! This engine helped rescue a passenger train while pulling a goods train as well. This diesel has worked his ass off today, so you should show him some respect. Leave it, driver. This engine is only natural to assume that. We diesels have a pretty bad reputation amongst steamers. Just take me back to Barrow, Mr. Steamer. Well, actually, I'm supposed to take you to Crovid's Gate Works. Our controllers agreed to have you a partner, and I'll probably send you home. Oh, really? Wow, that's nice of him. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, Henry, this is the diesel that helped me in the passengers today. Really? Huh, <laughs> yes, that's me. You know, I, I never got the chance to thank you. No foreign diesel has ever been so kind to me. Most just think I'm an old, useless contraption. Believe me, I'm not old, but I know very well what it's like to be useless. I know that feeling too. I was a hybrid of several engines when I was first built, and it was very difficult to build up steam. I failed many, many times, and I was in despair. But the controller never gave up on me and eventually gave me a rebuild into a much better engine. I wish our controller was like that. All he cares about is modernization. Our class is barely half a decade old, yet I assure you we're going for the scrap heap. My brother already went there. My brothers have been scrapped too. I'm the only one left. Hold on a second. You're a class 28, aren't you? My driver reads train magazines, and he read all about the troubles your type had. And honestly... I can only sympathize with you greatly based on my own experience. You shouldn't. I used to be prejudiced towards steam engines. I was just like all the other horrid diesels. I'm clearly not a true engine. The only reason I changed my views on them was because I realized what it was like to be considered inferior. It's not your fault. You were just brought up that way. But you know what the wonderful thing is? Through your hardships and suffering, you were formed. That's what makes you different from all those horrible diesels. Only a true engine would help someone who many consider to be an inferior, <laughs> like me. Exactly. Now then, Boko, we better get you fixed up. I will warn you, sir. The repairs may not be permanent. My class is known for... Known for trouble? I know, my dear engine. You're a Class 28, and it saddens me to hear your history. Yes, I don't think anything will be able to fix us at this point. Ah, but you're in the hands of Sir Chopham Hat, and he can just about fix anything. 
What you need is to have an engine replacement and overhaul, and you'll be as good as new. An engine replacement? Sir, you don't have to do that. That will be quite an effort and an expense. Are you sure you want to do that for someone who isn't even your engine? Well, as a matter of fact, we are in need of a diesel to help run the Brendan branch line. I've spoken to your controller, and we've agreed to negotiate about buying you to work there. Are you serious? Of course, if that's okay with you. Sir, that would be an honour. I can't thank you enough. You are the best man I have ever met. But hold on a second. Will the other engines like me? I'll say that I've met quite a few that didn't seem too pleased. They're not as judgmental as you think. You'll find that once you've shown yourself, they will consider you just as valuable as any of them. You must understand, of course, that we have had bad experiences with diesels, so that's why they're a bit cautious. But you will open their eyes quite significantly. Show them what a true diesel is. And so it was arranged. I was given an overhaul and felt like a new engine. Not long after I arrived, I had quite an encounter with two little engines that almost drove me bonkers. However, Edward and I soon managed to get a grip on them, and now we're all great friends. Some of the engines were a little skeptical to my arrival, especially James and the Scottish twins. But eventually, they saw that I was not part of those negative stereotypes. I befriended Gordon in such an amusing way. He still thinks I saved his life when I told Bill and Ben to stop tormenting him. I still don't know if he knows that the twins were only teasing. Unfortunately, starting in 1967, all my remaining brothers were scrapped. All except one, Vicar. His preservation was actually unintentional. But even though all of them and D5703 may not be here physically, their spirits live on. And I know regardless of what happens, my Sodor friends will always have my back. We are all here on the Fat Controller's Railway. We all stick up for each other and help those in times of need. Being on this railway made me realize quite a bit. I used to think being really useful just meant how reliable your engine ran or how fast you went, but it's not. Being really useful and reliable means being there for others and doing the best you can with what you're given. It's not about relying on someone to be there on time or to be free of problems. It's about relying on someone to lend a hand regardless of your problems. I'm proud to be an engine of Sodor and we team together to help those in need on this magnificent railway. Thank you.